Good morning, uh, distinguished guests. My warm welcome uh, to the President of the Republic of the Philippines, His Excellency Ferdinando R. Marcos, Jr., cabinet members, and government officials. Uh, let me also recognize my Filipino colleagues joining us this morning. 70% of the staff in our headquarters are Filipinos. The Asian Development Bank has a special and enduring partnership with the Philippines as our host country. Mr. President, uh, your father, the late President Ferdinand Marcos, was instrumental in establishing ADB's headquarters in Manila in 1966, as you know. The Philippines has always shown us its warmest hospitality. During the COVID-19 lockdown in early 2020, I had the privilege of returning some of this uh, generosity by distributing, distributing food packages uh, procured under our Bayan Bayaniham project to over 260,000 vulnerable families in Metro Manila. I'm also grateful that the Philippines could host our annual meeting last year, September last year where we announced ADB's $14 billion assistance package from 2022 to 2025 to help our developing member countries address food security issue. ADB has been a steadfast development partner to the Philippines. Let me highlight two aspects of this partnership briefly. First, ADB has increased its financing to the Philippines by fourfold, reaching a total of $12.7 billion between 2018 and 2022. This year alone, in 2023, we expect to provide up to $4 billion to support the government's socioeconomic agenda and build better and more infrastructure development program. This includes preparation of several transformative projects such as the Batan Cavite Interlink Bridge Project, the Dabao Public Transport Modernization Project, and the Integrated Flats Resilience and Adaptation project, project. Second, the Philippines is especially vulnerable to the impacts of climate change because of its exposure uh, to severe weather events, with 70% of the population residing along the coast. ADB is fully committed to helping the Philippines address climate change, and it will be a core priority of our assistance going forward. So let me close by commending your leadership, Mr. President, and the administration's development priorities. We will stand by you as the country strives to eliminate poverty and achieve upper middle income status. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Asakawa. Good morning, everyone. Sir, do you want to know their, what were your, uh, the topics you discussed during your meeting well, with the, the, the ADB? Uh, president of uh, ADB, President Asakawa, and I just went through uh, some of the programs that are presently being implemented already that have been begun and some of the some of the uh, programs that are in the pipeline and these concern programs especially the traditional role of the uh, Asian Development Bank in the in terms of assistance in, in the they, they, the the largest source of our ODA financing now is uh, is ADB uh, so we are very grateful to ADB and the MD, other MDB uh, for all that assistance and we discussed what it is so that we can be that we can anticipate in the next few years in terms of large-scale uh, programs now traditionally ADB uh, has provided assistance for infrastructure now uh, the scope of uh, the ODA assistance that, that we get through ADB has now increased 
and we are talking about agriculture, we are talking about reskilling and retraining, we are talking about, of course, climate change and its uh, uh, mitigation and adaptation, and perhaps we will uh, go forward. Um, the pres President Sakao and I have been always uh, in discussion whenever we find each other in our conference, like in the past ASEAN uh, conference in Indonesia. And we are trying to develop further, uh, further programs. One of the things that is in the pipeline that is being developed, that is going to be of uh, great assistance to our people, is a proposal by the DSWD uh, for a uh, food stamp program. Uh, which uh, I was surprised we have never had, uh, but it is something that we can see has been effective in um, in other countries. Uh, so, as, of course, there is the uh, partnership between uh, uh, TESDA and now the civil service, uh, I'm sorry, with ADB and the civil service on digitalization. So, the ADB has given us so many opportunities, not only uh, in these projects that we were discussing, but uh, even more so in uh, what has been done uh, since ADB was uh, brought here to Manila. And they have been an essential part of all our development plans, and they have been a, uh, a, a robust and strong and reliable partner in the development of the Philippines. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. Thank you. Salamat. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the Republic of the Philippines, His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. Thank you. 